Hi friends, my name is Anurag Vendra. Today we are going to discuss about the examples of different database servers. There are different types of database servers are there. Those are Microsoft SQL Server, mostly used for .NET application and has been designed by Microsoft company. Oracle Server is designed by Oracle company, is mostly used for Java applications. MySQL Server is mostly used for PHP application which is also designed by Microsoft company. Cyber Server, Teradata Server, Postgres Server, Ingress Servers, all those are also like used to design different types of applications according to their requirements. What is DBMS? DBMS is a database management system. If any user wants to interact with databases of any database servers, the DBMS is required. That is, without database management system or without DBMS, user cannot interact with databases of any database server. That is saying here. Database management system is a tool which is used to maintain and manage it under database. That is, user can interact with database with the help of DBMS tool as shown below. User has to interact with database is only possible with database management system. Okay, now we are going to see the what are the models of DBMS. Till now there are six models have been developed by some other companies uh, like file management system that is a older one and HMS and NDBMS are developed by IBM company or DBMS and WordBMS, WordBMS has developed by some other companies. Okay, there are different types of models in DBMS. Those are FMS, file management system. And HMS means hierarchical management system. NDBMS means network database management system. RDBMS means rational database management system. In our course, we are almost up to end of the course, we are using RDBMS concepts. And WordBMS and WordBMS is the extension of that RDBMS concept. What is FMS and what is HMS and what is NDBMS and what is all those? What are all those? FMS is a completely manual system. It is older model. Uh, that is, it was established in early of 1950s. Uh, in this system, records have been saved in the form of files. Because of manual system, there is a security problem, cost is more, more manual power is required and in this model, data will be stored in sequential manner. That means if we want to update any data in middle of the records, we cannot update that. It is not possible. Okay, that is a drawback. Okay, next, hierarchical management system. Hi hierarchical management system is the second model of DBMS which was designed and developed by IBM. When they were developing a project is named as IMS in 1960s. In this model, the data will be stored in the form of tree structure. In FMS, the data will be stored in the form of files. In HMS, the data will be stored in the form of diagrammatic, that is tree structures. If, uh, there are three levels actually, root level and parent level and child level. Okay, uh, anyway, why I am not mentioning all those means? FMS and HMS and NDBMS are nowadays not using. So uh, that is why I am not giving any information about that FMS, HMS and NDBMS in this material. Okay, I am just explaining. Anyway, what are the drawbacks of HMS? There is no proper security. Only one person can interact with databases. It is difficult to share information to multiple programmers. Those are the drawbacks of HMS. NDBMS. Coming to NDBMS, NDBMS was designed and developed by IBM in the year 1969. In this model, the data will be stored in the form of tree structure, but starting under a network environment. The main advantage of the NDBMS model is to share the required information to multiple locations and also multiple programmers interfacing with database at a time drawbacks there is no security to my 
centralized database information occupy more memory application performance will be reduced user will get delay response and the above models are outdated next coming to rdbms in the next class we will discuss about that rdbms and what are the features of rdbms uh, what is rdbms tools then we will discuss that then we will discuss about that what is ssms tool sql server management studio thank you thank you for watching this video if you have any doubts or queries which has mentioned in the comment lines below the video thank you thank you so much